It's the American internet superpower that seems to be in every corner of our lives, from everything we search to every place we want to find. It's even a verb in the dictionary. But Google's power is now being challenged by Europe's competition regulator. This morning, she accused the firm of abusing its dominant position. Dominant companies have a responsibility not to abuse their powerful market position by restricting competition, either in the market where they are dominant or in neighboring markets. With more than 90% of internet searches in Europe, Google stands accused of pushing its own services when people go looking for good deals online. Google's rivals say it uses its dominance in search to favor its own product. So we've done a search for Rihanna Music and we don't immediately get search results. We get a bunch of songs from Rihanna and if you click through on them, you get to see YouTube videos, a Google product. Uh, below there are some more Rihanna videos, again on YouTube. Over here there's a profile of Rihanna with Google Play featured. Google Play is where you pay for Rihanna songs. Uh, money going obviously to Google. And it's all the way down here before you get the basic search results and Rihanna's own website. A tiny British search company was the first to complain about Google's tactics and insists consumers are being harmed. They're not showing consumers the cheapest products at the top necessarily. And that means that consumers end up paying more for products and services on a daily basis. And that's why there was such urgency for the Commission to act. Google hasn't yet commented on the EU move, but told its own staff that in the new world of the mobile internet, there's plenty of competition, with shoppers often searching on Amazon or similar sites. Now the Californian company gets the chance to fight its case, but it could be forced to pay a huge fine and, more importantly, to change the way it does business. Rory Kathleen Jones, BBC News.